welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. As always, I was on YouTube the other day and um, and I ran across a video of a company that sells chandeliers. And they were really beautiful chandeliers. And I was immediately inspired to do a DIY. Mine won't be an exact duplicate, but it would be very similar. Okay, so with that said, let's get started. So as always, I went to Dollar Tree because I remember seeing this bowl and they also have plates that match it. So I picked up the bowl, the small plate, the larger plate that matches it also. I didn't want to use the Dollar Tree candle holders for this project, but because I need four to match exactly, I went ahead and picked them up. So I'm going to do my best to try and make these things stand straight. So I picked up four. And this is what they look like. So I'll be using those. I'll be using the glue gun. And I'll also be using this globe. And I picked this up at Home Depot. I'll be using some of these LED lights that change color, but you can also use the ones from Dollar Tree to push lights. And some E6000 glue. Okay guys, with that said, let's just get started. This is gonna be quick and easy. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is flip the bowl over. And then I'm going to glue the bottom part of my candle holder onto the top onto what is now the top of my bowl. So I'm going to do that, use my leveler and make sure it's even. And so now I'll go ahead and add some to the bowl. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and connect the two. And I'm using this black background so you guys can see this better. So now I'll just take the level and try to make sure it's even all the way around. Okay, so that's pretty even. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. Okay, guys, so this has set up for about 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and attach this candlestick holder on top of this one. And I've already put glue on both. So now I'll use my leveler again to see if it's level. Okay, so that's pretty good all the way around. So I'm going to put a crystal ball on here and weigh this down and let this sit. And when it does, I'll come back and continue with the project. Okay guys, I'm back. And I have let this set up overnight and it has completely fused together. I put some weight on top to make sure that they were fused together better. And I think that allowed it to slide just a little bit. But again, I'll fix that. All right, so what I want to do now is add the small plate to the top. And then um, I'm going to add this candle holder. And I'm going to make sure that it lines up perfectly with the candle holder beneath it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some E6000 to the plate and to the bottom of this candle holder. Try to center it as best as you can. that 
this level. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now I want to go ahead and add glue on my plate and on the bottom of this candle holder and then attach it here. And just line it up with the bottom of the other candle holder. Check the level. So, I'm going to let this set for about four hours, and then I'll come back and add some more to it. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and it has been about four hours. So now what I want to do is go ahead and connect another candle holder from Dollar Tree on top of this one. And then I'm going to connect my larger plate on top of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get my E6000 and put the glue on. Okay guys, so I'm just going to let this set up for about an hour, and then I'll come back and add the plate on top. And glue it. I'll put this on top. And press that down. I'm just going to let this sit for a few hours, and then I'll come back and complete the project. Okay everyone, so I'm back. And I've glued the larger plate to the top of my centerpiece. And as you can see, I've already added some bling on the inside and I've started to hang my beads. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this permanent. So I'm just using some hot glue to hold it. And um, this is where you guys, you know, make your own mind if you want to keep it this way indefinitely or you just want to add the beads temporarily. So I'm just going to do this temporarily for now. Maybe on down the line, I'll go ahead and put them on permanently. But I have some other ideas in mind for this particular piece, so I'm not sure yet. So all I'm doing is adding some hot glue to keep these in place. And I'm using 11 beads. And on each end, you can see that there's a bead without the loop. So all that I'm doing is taking my glue gun and putting just a little bit of glue right on the outside of the plate and then holding this in place until it sets just like that I actually need to move this one over some. So that's all that I'm doing right now. So I'll continue to put the rest of the beads all the way around this plate until I'm done. And then we'll go on to the next step.
Hi everyone, I'm back. And this is where we are so far. Okay, so as you can see, I've started adding my string of beads to the larger plate that's on top. I forgot to mention in the beginning that we'll be using some of these chandelier dangles that I got from banggood.com and I'll leave a link below to where you can get these. Okay, so what I do is attach those to 10 beads that's on the strand. It has three beads on the dangle. So what I do is remove this top one and hook it to this one. And I end up with this. So that hangs a little bit longer. So on the strands without the dangles, I have 12 beads. So these hang a little bit shorter. So um, I'm just going to do one strand without the dangle, then a strand with the dangle, all the way around. And the way that I'm attaching it is pretty much the same way that I did the bottom. But I've noticed that the weight makes them fall off easier. And on top of it all, I really love the way it's looking, so I'm going to leave them permanently. So I'm using some quick hold glue along with my hot glue gun to uh, attach them. And I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm going to do a few on camera and then I'll go off and finish the rest. And when I come back, we'll go on to the next step. Oh, don't mind the curtain in the back, guys. My daughter um, had to submit an audition and she put that there. So, All right. So I'm going to take my quick hold and I'm going to put a little bit there. Then I'm going to take my glue gun and put it right beside it. Then I'll take one of my dangles, press it on there. And just hold that in place until the hot glue sets up. The hot glue gives it an immediate hold, so that's why I'm using it with it. Okay, so I'll just do that again. Same thing. And guys, I didn't measure this. I'm just eyeballing it. one and that'll be one without the dangle so I'm just going to turn it Don't worry about those strings, I'll clean that up later.
guys. So I'm just going to continue to go all the way around the larger plate doing the exact same thing. And when that's done, I'll come back and pick up on the next step. Okay, everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, I'm almost done. Actually, you could be done right here. Me, I'm always a little bit extra. When I imagined this in my head, I, I did not think it would turn out this way. I am just in awe of how this looks and how much it cost me. This is beautiful. I'm not done, guys. So what I want to do now is light this thing up and add another piece to it that's removable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and let you guys see what that looks like. So the next thing I want to do is add a globe on top. And I picked this globe up at Home Depot. And I like it because it has the lines in it, just like the plates and the bowl at the bottom. So what I want to do is sit this right in the center. But it's going to be removable. And I want to light it up. So I have my little LED lights and these um, change colors. I was actually hoping this would fit inside the globe, but it doesn't. The way that I'm going to solve that problem is I'm going to temporarily glue this down with the hot glue gun, and then I'm going to glue this down on top of the lights. This is also temporary, so I'll just use some hot glue to glue this down and then this on top. I'm also going to put an additional light underneath the centerpiece. And I just put four little spots of the hot glue. Okay, so now that's what it looks like. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some glue on the bottom. And remember, this is temporary, so I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to add some glue to the bottom of the light. Okay, 